there's the opposite tight head. Sarah Byrne and Byrne gets the first score. I loved every sport, like I played netball, cricket, basketball, tried to play football, wasn't very good at it, but I just still loved it, athletic, so, and rugby is a bit of all of that. And I'm probably someone that doesn't have a great attention span, so um, having loads of different things going on, I think that's definitely a sport for me. I remember I would, like, went down and I'd had a couple of sessions with, um, with the boys and I wasn't quite good enough to play for them yet. So I went to a tournament and they were like, oh, some other team needs some, needs some help. I was like, oh yeah, I'll, I'll play. I didn't have any clue of the rules. And then one of the, the older men grabbed the pad and was like, come on then, team warm up. Hit me as hard as you could. And I did and he fell over <laughs> and he did a backwards roll. And he was like, oh, you're quite good, aren't you? And I was like, I don't know. <laughs> um, and I just, I've really enjoyed it since then. I've just absolutely loved being on the pitch. Hunt wants to dig one out. Runners outside, carried at the line, and they jump. I remember when I first went to secondary school and I was like, I don't know whether to tell people that I play rugby because it's not really a sport that, that girls play. Like I did and everyone thought it was really cool and like I, no one would mess with me. <laughs> not that I'm an uh, angry person anyway, but um, no, nah, everyone seemed to think it was really cool. It's something different. When I was in under 18s, you know, I went through a bit of a growth spurt, got a little bit slimmer and they were like, oh, why don't we try you out in the backs and, you know, it's developed your skill, your passing, your catching, your running lines. And at the time I was like, no way, I don't think I should play out here. But now looking back on it, I'm like, get me back out. <laughs> uh, no, um, I've just been lucky that I've had coaches that have pushed me to make sure that I can experience every little bit of rugby. So I eventually like, settled as a six through my under-20s career. So I just kind of assumed like I'd eventually kind of hopefully work my way into the squad as a back row. And um, Matt Ferguson sat me down and he was like, oh, do you want to go to the World Cup this year? And I was like, yeah. He was like, as a tight head and I was like oh no thank you <laughs> um, but I had to think about it and it came to a couple of camps and I was like why not like I've been pushed to be in the, in the centres um, it's kind of it's not something that will take away from a game it's something that I can add to it and now I, I really enjoy it and I don't think I'd really want to play anywhere else. <laughs> There's Byrne on the break again Hunt's inside her but she doesn't need her Sarah Byrne well that is just ridiculous tight heads are not supposed to score tries like that my confidence has grown throughout playing more and, and no one can teach you how to scrummage well it's uh, something you have to find yourself every time you put on the shirt you should think about the people who've won it before or the, pe the teammates that you've had on the pitch with you before and you always want to make sure that you're giving everything that you can so I feel like when I'm enjoying it my most is when I'm giving everything that I can and I just enjoy it and I love playing and I love the people that I get to play with and have been able to play with. I get nervous, I still get really nervous every time I put a shirt on but to be able to be out there and stand in your shirt it's just something that no one can take away from you and it's your moment so you might as well own it.